All right, my dudes. This is the dash that was in my kitchen. That was a skeleton. I did the ducking, and then I put the panels on. And so I left it a little naked so I could show you. We ain't got no funny business going on to show you exactly what I did on this dash. So uh, this dash kind of kicked my ass today because I put it in by myself. And I don't know if you know how heavy these freaking dashes are. I got to weigh at least, at least four pounds, at least. No, I'm just kidding. They probably weigh like, I don't know, almost a hundred pounds. But it's not so much that they're heavy. It's just that they're, the thing's bigger than me. It's just the most awkward thing to lift up. And this truck, this truck, this truck's at dick level. So it's, it's it, oh, about busting a nut trying to get it up there. But I button it all up on this table. Um... Got some panels still throw on it. But yeah, so this white six door is about up and running. We need to get it out of the shop, but see, you can still put this panel on there. You can do it with one hand, you know? So don't mind it not being on there, but you get the point. So you could, Jesus Christ. Oh man, this bastard's stubborn. Jesus. But see, you can pop it off. You can check all your fuses. You got your relays. You got the beautiful wiring coming down over there to the humongo rat nest. Um, don't worry about that. Nothing you really do about that because there's literally 10 million wires and they're all going. You got some going that way. You got some going to the firewall. You got some going to the brake. You got some going to the body harnesses. Then you got you got them all going to my fancy BCM thingy. Um, so you got wires going everywhere. So it's kind of hard not to make a rat's nest in that one little junction it's like a little spaghetti bowl on the freeway in the middle of la right there but um so you got your fuse box there shift cable you know clicks right in uh we still got to figure out what we're gonna do with the middle part but the radio is up and going uh ac lines um i extended maybe a little too extended <laughs> but that, they'll work oh uh, what else we got For some reason he didn't I don't know why. Everyone's a little different, but he didn't. He spent fifteen hundred bucks on the Alpine, but he didn't want to spend fifty bucks on the audio interface, and he didn't care for these buttons to work. But he wants the cruise to work, so I don't know. Dude got powerful mirrors, but only wanted the turn signals and running lights to work on them. So whatever. It's it's his truck, not mine. I'm not too worried about it, but yeah, uh, so we're just gonna, I'm gonna do a little more demonstration. So, you, uh, he just wanted normal headlights. So you got your, uh, running lights so right up on the mirror. You got them up on the front and then, uh, these are your hazards. So you can see that mirror's flickering over there. You got this one going too. So, uh, this is the how i got these to wire it up and pretty much plug and play on the dash was i've added these in the body harness and that's what the black plug is let me get this out of the way oh look at this thing i'm gonna see if i can put it on my truck this thing looks mint one of my trucks beat the shit look it's still got the stickers and how to run the belfast m3 i i have everyone i've seen they're either destroyed or whatever but this one looks freaking mint so i might see if i can snag it See if Alan will let me have it. All right, so coming up under here, you got the three plugs for the body harness. You got the one for the parking brake, and then you've got the gas or the the brake pedal right there. And then you got the two for the gas pedal, and then you got the body harness, and then this black plug. This one right here. This is the one I added for the mirrors. Uh, so there's coming from the dash on the turn signals, and then going to the body harness that i ran so the still plug in place you got your body harnesses here you got your airbag module plugged in there and then up over there you got the other body plugs in the ground right there and then the one behind the glove box is that little module that the little white plug you plug in um so other than that we got this going pretty quick i mean it took me longer to lift it up and get it up in there and bolt it in by myself because I can only hold one side at a time. So I had to do some weird yoga shit to flex, to get the drill going, hold the dash up with my dick. 
So, but it's in there. I didn't break none, so I'm pretty impressed with myself. But we're gonna head, we're gonna fire it up. Uh, and then I'm gonna just show you some more cool shit on this thing, so. Uh, all right, so. Right here, you got that. This thing goes up and down. I think it telescopes in, let's see. Telescopes out. This thing goes fucking everywhere. Alright, so, so you see your turn signals don't work without the truck, the key in, which is what you want. Uh, you got your annoying ass key chime. Uh, see now the turn signals work, the, the key's in there. So he doesn't have the, the back tail lights hooked up, so that's why we're throwing a, a little coat thingy for that. <laughs> them out before you get kick me off the YouTube. All right, so you got hazards going. You can see it lights up. It's got the nice little aqua. You can kind of see it going. It's just I got my flash on the camera on. All right, uh, what to show you next? How about it start up? So you just come over here and just. Whoa! This thing needs a little bit of engine work. I'm not gonna lie. What the. Don't tell me this thing needs a new starter. I hear it spinning. Woo! Let's see. I don't think we have any check engine lights. No airbag lights. I think the airbag one's over here. Oh yeah. cool pretty cool so i rekeyed everything to match this key too so hell yeah we just gotta figure out what to do with this centerpiece but this truck's drivable i still gotta run the the vacuum lines for the ac ducking mm -hmm. oh man i'm fucking hungry i'm pretty stoked that we got this going um but yeah uh, it's got the new 6.7 bed on there, even though it's got a 6.4 front end. Holy shit, it smells like fucking diesel. My eyes are burning from smoke. This truck ain't been running in a long time. So, let's see if I get this one. Okay. Why can it be? Oh, I'm a freaking idiot. This goes on the other side. But yeah. I'd say if we had to, we could drive this truck right now. I'm not gonna drive it. There's much shit under it. I'm not gonna be responsible if I slap this thing and drive and the brakes don't work. I don't even know if the brakes do work. Let's see. So yeah, you still got your fuel cut off. I see you four seal on this side, so look, you can boop. Still get to it. Pretty nifty. Let's take a look at my ducking. So if you look, my little piece, it just, it mates up right there. Um, it's pushing on it pretty good. It, I, I, got, I lined it up pretty good, but you can see, so the, the air comes through the air box, does this mystical heater hot magic, and then shoots through my fun tubes over there to the, the, the old box, if it would focus, um, to the middle part. So, and then there's the other modules talking about you gotta plug in, but uh, yeah, pretty good. Uh, I just need to fix these little vacuum lines. I gotta extend the red one because since we extend the box over, the red one doesn't reach over there to that the thingy anymore. So I gotta extend the red one still. 
And then you see we got the airbag all tightened down and good to go. So I do run the new airbags in here. I don't run the old ones. Uh, I just, surprisingly enough, people always ask me about the freaking airbag. Like, yeah, I've asked them all the time. They're like, man, I'm not gonna have an airbag code in my man. I'm not gonna have an airbag code. My airbag's gonna work. Uh, if I if I a truck, I'm still gonna live. Right, right, right. And I'm like, you know, people get a little complicated about that or a little, a little iffy about it. But no, uh, I use the new airbags on the steering wheel, uh, and then I use the new airbag on the, the new airbag in the, the dash, and all I do is just uh, cut and splice the wires, and as simple as that. I don't change any resistors or change. I don't change anything. I just cut and splice the wires, and then it doesn't give you the code on the dash. So, hell yeah. Other than that, uh, I think this is pretty much it for this. Um, they're gonna finish the rest of it. They just wanted me to really do the dash, so you know the middle part they just got to mold the ipad if they want to do that or do the switches or whatever that's the easy shit i did all hard shit so they can finish the rest because they want to so other than that i hope this video helps out someone but i'm glad this truck's done we're on this now the next dash i'm gonna do is the silver bullet one the uh one that looked horrible it's 2002 73 so that's my next one but uh all right adios y'all